April Foster with Studio Calico here filming with Scrapbook Expo and we're filming part two of Watercoloring with Mist. And this is the piece of lovely artwork we made in the last video and still it's quite ugly and you're probably thinking this is not going to turn into a beautiful swan. It's like the ugly duckling, but I promise you it will. And this video is going to show you how to do that. So we have our piece of paper that we've watercolored and we've stamped and we've splattered with mist and now we're going to show what that looks like in an album. So what I did with this piece is we created a cut file for the silhouette cameo and then cut from that from that piece of paper. And so you can see here, um, it is put into a page protector and then stitched around. And it really turned out nicely. Another, another way to do that to, is with the same file is to cut a smaller piece and then use it on, um, here I use it on a Project Life card. And so I cut the map of the US and then I hand cut a little heart and stitched that on. It didn't have to be stitched on, but I wanted to. Um, and then you can see where some of the stamps are popping through and it's just a really fun way to, to, show your, to show your artwork. It just looks like a piece of pattern paper that's created uniquely for you. Another way to do it is just to make an entire four by three card out of your scrapbook, out of your watercolor paper. So to do that, what I did was I picked a portion of the paper that I liked. And for this portion, when we make a four by three card, I almost focus on this area here, which is the part of my paper that I really like, just like how it turned out. And you'll find that you have certain areas that you really like. So I got my today stamp and oh, I'm going to use stays on ink. This is my favorite ink because for black, because it doesn't run, it doesn't do anything. A lot of people also like the VersaFine black for the same reason, but I'm a stays on fan. Maybe, maybe it's the smell too. So, okay, I'm going to Position this about right here because I want to be it to be toward the bottom of my card. And just get a really good crisp image there. And then you can do your journaling here. And I'll sometimes go ahead and write out my journaling, or sometimes I'll go ahead and cut the card. And then from there, you can just cut that into a four by three card. And as I showed earlier here, this is how it looks in the binder. Or you can cut it and just put it as a pattern paste and maybe a filler card that you can use later. Here's an example of another card that was, that was cut using the silhouette. And I like it because it kind of has a peekaboo page with the photo underneath. And this is for my trip to Las Vegas. I still have some pictures I need to put in. I also wanted to show what it looks like when, you, when it comes off the silhouette. So this is a piece of paper I cut at home. You can see where the numbers were input there. And I just peeled that out. And you can see you're left with a lot of really fun things that you could, scraps that you could cut and use on other projects. Okay, so this page here also has a silhouette cut in it. And if you notice, you wouldn't even notice that this, this airplane came from the paper, the same paper you watercolored because it's such a fine cut and a small cut. But I like that it's the same color scheme and kind of keeps the same look, a continual look going through my album. Um, so I adhere that to the page and then I march around it with, uh, with just a precision pin by American Crafts. I like the 03 point the best. And stamped here and then did some journaling about how hard it was to leave my sick kids in Kentucky to come to Vegas. Um, this card was also made with the same stamp set and the mists were just used um, spraying over top of it. So I just noticed I needed another filler card and to do that I just sprayed on a piece of white cardstock and then stamped over top of it very randomly. So as you can see, there's so many options to, to do with just a few little, a few supplies. I mean, just a few mist, a few ink pads, and really awesome stamp set. And um, you can just make a, almost an entire album from that. All right, and thanks again to Scrapbook Expo. I'm April Foster with Studio Calico.